We've seen a lot of these deals pop up recently. How does this one compare to others you've seen? I'd say very similar in the fact of what banks really need to hold on here is their fee streams. And they have these huge origination channels, but with regulation, especially in, in some of these smaller banks, really collapsing and saying, hey, you can't make as many loans as you used to be able to, or at least hold on to as many loans as possible. Instead of saying, hey, we want to send that business away, they're saying, let's form these partnerships where we can grab a balance sheet and, and bring in and hold on to a lot of these companies and loans where there is a lot more fee generation in terms of, of M&A, in terms of cash management, in terms of hedging, these type of things where banks really make a lot of their, a lot of their earnings. You know, there are a few small differences that I've seen. One is this focus on the middle market rather than underwriting large scale sponsor backed deals. Uh, is the large scale space kind of crowded right now? Absolutely, absolutely. It's, one crowded and it just became almost doubly crowded with the broadly syndicated market reopening where in the middle markets especially again back to that regulation there's so many companies so many businesses and so many areas for these private credit lenders to play especially when you think of outside of the sponsor backed area which is one of the keys for this partnership as well